In the previous video, we created a JFrame. Now let's add a button. To do that, we will use the JButton class from the javax.swing package. So back here in our GUI demo class, let's import javax.swing.jbutton. And back here in our fields, let's add another one to serve as a reference to the JButton that we will create. I'll type private and then JButton because that is the data type. And then I will name it button. And then here in the constructor, I will instantiate it. I will say button is equal to new J button. And then in the parentheses, I can also pass a string argument that will serve as the button's label. You're not required to do this, but most of the time I do want my buttons to have a label. So here I'll just say click me. Now the next thing we'll have to do is add it to the container. Creating the J button alone doesn't automatically add it to our GUI. We still have to use the add method of the JFrame class to actually add the button component to the JFrame. I'm going to write that here inside our setup GUI method. I have to make sure that I do that before I call set visible, otherwise we won't see the button. You have to make sure that you've set everything up already first and then you call set visible. So I will add the button in this line just after I set the title and I will just say frame.add which means let's add a component to the frame and then inside the parentheses we pass a reference to the component that we want to add which in this case is our J button which we appropriately named button. So now let's test this program. Let's compile it. And then let's run it. And then here is our um, frame. And now, as you can see, there is a button inside it that says click me. Right now, our button doesn't do anything. I can click on it as many times as I'd like, but nothing is going to happen. In the next video, we will set this up so that whenever we click on the button, it will print out the word click in the command line window.